today's episode. Today we'll be testing the uh, cargo pump to ensure that she remains in operation and this is done prior arrival uh, of the port of discharge. So now what we basically are doing is, you can hear behind me a small sound. This is a spray pump. The spray pump is cooling down the tower between the piping between the discharge valve coming up to the filling valve which is behind me here. For this instance I'm at cargo tank number three. As you understand every valve has a code. Uh, the first number that starts this is for the uh, for the cargo tank and the rest is for the pump and the CL means cargo uh, line. So so this is for the cargo line. Here's the cargo pump as I said we're going to start the pump. We're pulling down the uh, valves. Everything looks okay. I always carry with me my personal uh, gas detector, uh, which I have, in order to ensure that everything is okay and there's no any content of methane in the area. So now I will be uh, telling the chief mate that we're okay, to, good to go, and we'll start the pump to ensure that it's working in good order. So let's catch up from here. Additionally, this is to show you that from inside here, this is the uh, spray pump. It's coming out, going inside and going up there to the uh, T-valve. And from that point there, it's going inside the uh, liquid line, which is involved in cargo tank number three. It's not going to the main uh, liquid line, which is out of the branch valve, which is up there. So, it's good to go. Uh, I'm going to call the chief officer and ensure that he's okay to start the uh, operation. George, uh, how's it going? Can we start the pump? Uh, okay, so now we are stopping the, the uh, spray pump of the uh, cargo tank number three. So as you may see uh, and you may hear, the uh, cargo pump behind me has stopped. Uh, confirm, spray pump has stopped. And now... Please uh, close up the uh, valve. that the uh, ceiling valve is fully open, branch valve is fully closed. So we have ensured that everything has been uh, cooled down and uh, the uh, thermal stresses will be minimized uh, from the shock from the uh, cargo that will come from the uh, bottom of the tank upwards. So now we're waiting for the uh, cargo pump to start. It's in sequence mode and uh, we'll start and we'll be recirculating towards okay. the tank. Okay, chief, proceed.
now the uh, discharge valve is opening. On other vessel, it opens around 22%. On this vessel, it opens at 17%. pump and coming to the filling valve which is the CL300 and going back to the tank that, that down to the bottom of the tank there's the manometers uh, where you can see uh, the gauges where you can see the pressure So uh, guys, uh, in order to uh, start the pump, you will need to uh, check on the uh, pumps that the uh, you have cold down the area between the discharge valves to the uh, filling, and of course the uh, double shut valve, uh, and of course the branch valve is closed. So in order to uh, start the pump, you have to start from the pump itself. You will need to ensure that the uh, the sequence has been terminated so in order to do that uh, you will need to go on the cargo pump sequence and see that everything is okay we don't have any red lights so for this instance everything is okay so I'll go back to the previous page and uh, now we'll line up to uh, show you how the pump is started so here is the cargo pump this needs to be switched on from manual to auto so now I click auto and that's done the cargo pump is in auto mode the discharge valve 
the CL301, this one here, this will need to be also in auto mode and the PID controller will remain in manual. When you start the pump it's a good uh, practice to have the pump at about 80%. So, as we start the pump, we will have the filling valve at 100%, which is fully open, and then you're ready to start the pump. So how do you do that? You will come here on the uh, left-hand side, where it says start cargo pump. Well, this instance, the one on the uh, cargo tank, the starboard one, is the number two. So in order to start it, you just press on it, and then you press the yes. So as you press the yes, it makes the sequence, which is to uh, ensure that the uh, filling valve is at 100% fully open, the discharge valve set it at 17% open, which is this one here, and then the pump will start. So let's have a look. I will show you the uh, sequence which is done here. Now the uh, discharge valve is opening. And now the pump will be starting. As you may see, the cargo pump has started and now is in recirculation mode. So the PID controller needs to be at 80 to 81 percent now when it started it remained at 81 percent so i can put it at the same uh, point in order to uh, continue operator at uh, 19 percent of the discharge valve with the uh, full t7 amperes so now there's a message which comes up uh, this one here this message says continue uh, if you press continue this will start doing the next sequence which means this here this valve the branch valve should be in auto and this is for cargo operations in order to start sending the cargo to shore for this instance that we're doing the uh, pre-arrival test uh, we don't need to do that so you will go to the uh, sequence mode which is cargo pump sequence and you will need to press terminate as you press terminate, this is terminated, so you won't be sending anything ashore. And now, of course, you will need to stop the pump. So in order to stop the pump, you will just go here and you will press the number two pump stop. So now it's again doing a sequence. It has activated the sequence. It's requesting the pump discharge valve to go at 15%. It's taking it to 15%. It's reducing it and now the pump is stopped. So that was it. When you complete with this test, you need to ensure that the valves that were operated need to be open. Why is that? Because when you have uh, uh, piping closed and you've got inside LNG, LNG expands, of course you've got safety relief valves but you don't want them to be used for this instance so what you will do is when the sequence is finished which is still pending, it's still on a green, then I will show you what you will do. So we just finished with a sequence and what you need to do is switch again the uh, valves 
from top to bottom into manual mode. So the filling valve is in manual, the branch valve, the uh, discharge valve here is in manual, and the cargo pump is in manual. So we did that, and the LNG, which is trapped between the uh, filling towards the discharge valves, small amount, not a big amount, it's about four to five cubes. You can open the discharge valves of the tank in order for them to send down the uh, remaining LNG. So let me show you for well, this instance, the cargo tank number three, number four, which is right here in front of me. You will see that this is the filling valve and here is the uh, piping coming to the aft and going towards the cargo pump. So this LNG which is trapped inside here, if you open the discharge valves, then it will go down to the tank. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching.